everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Nova Star, or, or as most of us knew her, a Firestar from G1. And yes, this is a repaint of Moon Racer, except in red. And she comes in this package, which in a standard deluxe packaging, you get the render of the car mode there, Power of the Primes, nice artwork there, Transformers, odd stuff. And hey, look, the Elita Infinite on the side there. And Prime Master Symbols on that side, and hey, look, render on the back, of course, with copyrights and warnings and all that stuff. All the Prime Masters you can buy, and how look at all that stuff, and how will the Daring Infiltration Rescue Specialist wield the power of the Primes? Up there, so yeah, it's typical stuff. I've seen it a million times before, although this is pretty much the last time we'll see that packaging, because, well, the line's pretty much over. Also comes with, of course, the usual instructions. Uh... A little better to read, I think. They've gotten a lot better about this because you see that that's a brighter gray on, well, black. So it's a lot easier to see what's going on versus some other ones where it's just like gray on gray. It's like, what? Yeah, the instructions are they're the same as usual. And she comes with a training card. This one is the Liege Maximo version, green. Again, the artwork, all that stuff. And Liege, Liege Maximo Nova Star. Breaches enemy ranks by convincing them she's a Decepticon. So we got that. So, yeah, it's, well, we've, this is a repainted uh, Moon Racer. We see that. Uh, it's just in red. You know, I see a little pale yellow stripe here with an Autobot symbol and stuff. I'm going to. Lots of uh, gray painted wheels. Uh, gray up here, translucent oranges. And, you know, you got another Autobot symbol right there as well. But, yeah, you can tell, you know, it's another, you know, very narrow Cybertronian car. Thing is, these pegs, there's these little pegs right here, which are for the robot mode. Um, they stick down, f I don't know if I don't know what it is, but they seem to stick down further than they do on the uh, Moon Racers. I, as far as I can tell, the pegs are the same, but, well, actually, no, this one's too, but yeah, they kind of drag. I, I can feel it when they, they drag on the ground here. I'm not sure what that's about. I wish, I'm not sure why that's the case. Maybe I should go ahead and just sand those down like a millimeter or something, because yeah. They're just long enough to interfere with rolling. I don't know what that is. Now you can again, you can see these two together, identical. There is no molding differences here in the car mode. They're 100% identical in car mode. Uh, just colored. It's all color. You can see that. Yeah, you can, and you can see the differences everywhere. But they still have the same thing. Both of them having exposed hands in the back. Slightly different paint here because like right here, it's all translucent here and then yeah. So some differences, but yeah, uh, pretty much the exact same mold, just different colors. But of course she does come with prime armor. It's red and yellow or red and orange. It can put peg on, peg on back here. There's a little peg hole, just like the, just like moon racer. Peg on back here, make the car mode even longer. All that stuff. She also comes with a little gray gun. Little like blaster gun thing. You can peg on to the side here if you want. Other side. And she also has the uh, Prime Master pegs, which uh, I have one right here. And you know, usual stuff there. Prime Master pegs. Prime Master can also fold up and go inside the Prime Armor. The usual stuff. Oop, that's upside down. There we go. You know, the usual. This one actually goes in. Yeah, usual stuff. Go ahead and uh, get this all taken care of. Real quick. And you put that off to the side. Because, of course, she has limb modes. Uh, first one, leg. Pretty simple. You got to take these, uh, these side bits. Move the, uh, move, open them up, move the arms up, and this tab will now tab in a little differently. Leave the side, tab, tab it in, tab it in back there. This this tab will also go in this right here, this little slot. Shawl's tabbed in. Take the front, 
like that, crack it open, and then here, hinge it back, and these pegs right here will go in these slots right there. Oh, and open this up, pull this down, close it back up, and of course take the combiner peg out. And that's the foot or leg mode. Pretty simple. It works. It's a pretty smooth leg. It's kind of more, it's a little bit more, more narrow than a lot of the other um, leg modes. But yeah, it's just like Moon Racer. From here, arm mode is pretty much a lot of this is the same. You can leave all this stuff all the same, but you take the peg and, of course, move it down. And unpeg the bottom here, but you, you don't go all the way back. Then, you, of course, you take this and pull that back up and rotate this whole thing either way. And now you, you, know, you adjust those and then boom, that's the arm, except of course you have to do this as well. Transform the hand, pick it in, and boom, arm mode. Just like everyone else. That's the good old, it's got a bicep swivel, it's got all the joints it's supposed to, elbow and everything. Again, because of, it's got double jointed elbow because of the transformation, so you got that. And you can flare this out if you need it out of the way for whatever reason. It's also a little limited just because this stuff likes to, this up here likes to bang into stuff. But, and of course you got wrist swivel because of that and you know, all this usual stuff there. So it's a, it's actually a good looking arm. I like to actually like this as arm. I actually put it on Alita 1 a little bit ago and yeah, it looks good as an arm, but I don't want to dig all that out. This is supposed to be a fairly quick review or yeah, review because of a, all the stuff, yeah. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to car mode because, well, it's real simple. Yeah. Now, robot mode is also really easy. You wanna open those up, split that off, lift that up, lift the canopy here up a bit. You also want to take this this whole piece right here, move it forward like this. Move it, straighten out the arms, straighten out the hands. Boom down. I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit. Then rotate this piece around. And there's the head. Close it back up. Then you can rotate this upper waist piece around. And there's slots here on the orange bit, which tab into those gray tabs, which prevent um, wheel rolling. You have the legs some more. Rotate the lower waist piece around, split the legs apart, and move the feet down. Collapse these uh, bits back. Adjust the arms as necessary. Adjust the feet as necessary so she can actually stand. Because, yep, she cares, shares, that, shares that problem with Moon Racer. And voila, you have. Nova Star. Yep, it's again, it's it's exact same mold as Moon Racer. They didn't, still didn't change anything for this part either, except for the head. Which, yeah, you can see the head is uh, a little different. Still got a little helmet thing, but now it's a gray, little yellow crest, pale yellow face, blue eyes, a little bit orange on the mouth there. Yeah, it's a pretty good head sculpt. I think, it, I think it resembles the G11 pretty well. It's been a while since I've watched the cartoon. A long while, actually. That, but yeah, it's, it's a nice orange and red color scheme with some bits of gray here and there. And, but yeah, it's mostly orange. Yeah, it's like fire engine red, all that stuff. Looks good. Um, I still have the same problems with it that I did with uh, Moon Racer, which is uh, I wish there was something, you can do something about these uh, bits here on the arms. You just kind of stick out. I wish there was a way to fold them up or something, and I wish these like uh, collapsed or something, like you could slide them backwards or something, because the stands are like kind of weird. But she also has a bit of difficulty standing. I don't know what it is, but maybe I just got used to it or whatever. But she stands a little better than uh, Moon Racer, or maybe I just got used to it and figure out, you know, now subconsciously lean it forward a bit so she doesn't fall over. But she kind of stands okay, except this surface right here—it's a little soft, so yeah, it has more tendency to fall over. But yeah, she also comes with, of course, the gray gun, um, which she can hold, no problem. 
You can also take the uh, prime armor. You can uh, peg it into her doll holes on the side of her arms, or you can move that peg forward and then those little tab, those slots here on the sides, you can tab it in with the, using those. Again, it's it's a okay connection at holding. Yeah, it's not it's not coming apart or anything, so is that, but you know, it still looks ridiculous. I still don't like it, I never will, and I never did. But yeah, I mean articulation, of course, her head's on a ball joint, so you can look left and right, up and down. There's also a secondary joint under the neck, so she's got two joints up here, so she can also move her head forward and back a lot. Lots of range in the head. A lot more range than you'd think for a deluxe figure. She's also got bald on the shoulders, so forward, back, although impeded by the backpack, which is still kind of bad. Outward, uh, bald on the elbows, so bend and swivel. Although it's really tight on mine, like super tight. But there's a lot of bend there and whatnot. Also, wrists can do that, which isn't very helpful, but they can do it. Waist swivel works is fine, unimpeded. Hips on ball joints, so forward, back, outward. Again, back is kind of impeded a little bit, but not a whole lot. Thigh swivels, which work really well. Knees, there's a first knee, which you're supposed to use, but there's also the second knee, which you can use if you want double, real, you know, big curls for the legs. And the feet have a little bit of, just a tiny bit of, Ankle tilt, and there's forward and back as well. Not a whole lot, but there's just enough there to make a difference, I think. So you got that. I'm making her to stand. It's always the thing, is getting her to stand. There we go. You always have to kind of lean her forward a bit. It works from a, I guess, posing standpoint, but it looks weird. Of course, there's also the thing what people do, which is do the good old skirt thing, which they did before with Moon Racer, and no doubt we'll do it here. Flatten out the backpack a little bit. But yeah, um, I, f I feel, I pers again, personally feel that's a little, just this just as bad. So anyway, Trey, uh, here she is with uh, Moon Racer. See, yep, again, identical mold, uh, just, well, translucent here versus non-translucent. Well, it gets still, got, still got the weird translucent ball joints on the shoulders. I don't know how you can see that, but uh, I think the ball joints are actually translucent plastic. Yeah. See that? It's weird. And same thing on Moon Racer. It's an odd, odd, odd decision, in my opinion. But what actually is cool, I think this is intentional. Um, Her gun... And Moon Racer's gun can actually combine. You see that Moon Racer's gun has a little peg on the back, and this is a fairly large hole. I had to open up a little bit. For some reason, there's a little mold flash on mine, so didn't want to go in. But uh, it's a bit tight fit, but the guns can combine into a longer rifle, which is pretty neat. Yeah, you know, I don't want to hold it, but yeah, now it's a longer, longer rifle if you want. Only means the uh, only problem is that well one that means one will have no gun well except for I guess their little uh prime armor gun which yeah it's still a thing don't lose it yeah it's still a thing you can have a translucent prime armor gun so that's that uh right so Nova Star here she's pretty good. She's a nice color scheme. I like her as it is. Uh, I think I think maybe I like her a little more than Moonracer. I like Moonracer just fine, but she still inherits the same problems. The backpack, the which makes her back heavy. Uh, the weirdness on the arms and legs. And just kind of a generally, I guess, love it or hate it uh, alt mode. I do like it. I think, uh, generally, I think this color scheme works a little better. It's, I mean, Moon Racer still has a good color scheme, but I just kind of generally like this one a little bit better with the red and stuff. It works. Uh, it's a nice repaint with a new head and everything. It's just, 
It's the same exact figure, so um, I guess some people will pass on this, except for, unless, except for those people who are like, oh, I just need all of them. Which is understandable. But yeah, it's uh, it works. It's a good repaint. It's just, the only problem is that the tail end is the final wave, and she's popping up here and there, but of course, only two per pack, so she's selling out real fast and whatnot. Uh, I've seen it per pop up on Amazon a couple times. That's where I got mine. Uh, Walmarts are getting her. So on and so forth. So if you're looking for good luck, she's going to be a little difficult to find. Like I know like Big Bad Toys, for example, they're only selling the full case and not or whatever and or not by herself. So and every other figure in the wave is a repack. So good luck. She's going to be difficult to get, I think. A little difficult. Amazon is actually pretty consistently going in and out of stock. So just if you if you really want her, keep an eye on that. But yeah, she's is she's a solid repaint. She have a solid figure. I think I feel. Um, just if you didn't like the original figure, this is not going to change your mind unless you just really like the color scheme or the character or whatever. Although that's I'd be honest, the character she really didn't have a lot, at least in the original cartoon. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a pretty interesting character or toy. Just uh, yeah, if you weren't already didn't already like the first one, you won't like this one either. So. That's that really. Uh, probably went a little longer than you really need to on the repaint, but whatever. I like it. It's I think I like a little bit better, but it still has all the same problems as the first one. So that's it. If you did like it though, if you do like it, I'll go pick it up. Um, if you did like this video, I, I, I hope you did. I hope you did. I hope you uh, liked it or found it informative. I hope you liked, comment, subscribe if you did so. And I should see you next time with another video review. 